Hey, what's going on guys? Pursuit of Happiness here. I just got back from the Durango Rendezvous in Durango, Colorado. And before I left, I was able to talk with Donnie from Kirsch Helmets and was able to pick up one of these bad boys for the ride home. My wife also got one of these, so stay tuned for the review. So, like I said, my wife and I just got back from Durango, Colorado from the Durango Rendezvous and we were able to test out the Kirsch helmet. Now, before I get into this review, I just wanna say thank you to Donnie for allowing us to wear these helmets on the ride home. And also, Kirsch Helmets is veteran owned and operated. So I hope you guys do support this uh, because what I mean by operated is that he has special work stations for disabled veterans to be uh, working and collecting a paycheck and being a part of society, uh, which really does help mental health for these veterans instead of being at home, not being able to do anything. So support these guys, whether you like the helmet or not. I personally love the helmet. Um, and I'm about to get into that. So the pros of the helmet is that you have your shell, you have your liner. Your liner is not your stereotypical foam liner. So you can take this out of the helmet, throw it back into the helmet and go for your rides. But why you can take this out is that this is a silicone uh, gel and silicone uh, liner. So you can throw this into your fridge, you can throw this into your freezer, and you're gonna have a nice cool helmet for those hot summer months. Um, what I found while riding through Texas, New Mexico, and Arkansas was that my wife and I would take these helmets, throw them into the ice boxes outside of the gas stations, and by the time we were done hydrating with Gatorade, water, Red Bull, snacks, whatever it may be, we had a nice cool helmet to put back on our head and continue down the road. So that was really awesome to uh, be able to get through those states. Um, other pluses is that you don't feel it on your head. Now, if you've ever picked up a Kirsch helmet, you're gonna notice that they're heavy and they are heavy. Um, there's no denying that, but it's done by design. So if you go to their website, you'll be able to see a couple uh, videos of the science behind why they do it and why they made it the way they did. Um, and it's actually really fascinating. So there is weight to it, but once you put it on your head, it does not move. Um, and I tried, trust me, I tried for uh, 2,400 miles or so. I've done everything. I lowered the windshield on my pursuit all the way down. I stood up with the windshield down and rode. I hit higher speeds. Nothing. It did not move. Stayed there. And honestly, half the ride, I didn't even notice that the helmet was there. Um, I had zero neck pain, uh, even with all the weight, but it's evenly distributed around your head. So, um, you're not gonna have the neck pain that you think you will, um, and neither did my wife. So it's the same design for women as well, because why would it change? I don't know, but same weight on uh, a woman's neck and no pain. And even th she thought that the helmet was not even there half the time. She kept reaching back to tap her head just to make sure she had it on. Um, so the design is awesome. The helmet is extremely comfortable. Um, but there is a but to it. I will say that there is a little bit of a learning curve. Um, and what I mean by that is that since the helmet is not a foam liner like we're all used to, you just have to get used to the silicone um, feeling on your head and on your hair and stuff like that. Um, or if you're bald, just on your skin. So that is the only thing I would say. Um, 
take it to a few bike nights, ride it around town, pick up groceries, stuff like that, just to get the feel for it. And the more you wear it, it, it breaks in. As Donnie says, it's definitely a lot better once it gets rid of the new car smell. So as we rode, I felt like it got more and more comfortable. Um, and I, I think I'm gonna be wearing Kirsch helmets from here on out. So with that said, for women, for women and these helmets. My wife also says that you just have to get used to the um, silicone lining, um, especially for women with long hair that like to wear uh, a headband or a sports band or something like that. Um, wear more of the bandana type of headband. So it's nice and wide and thin. Uh, similar to like a, a gator type of material or something like that. Um, she felt that the thin sports band just pushed into the top of her head a little bit too much. Um, still didn't feel the weight of the helmet, but just felt that pressure of the sports band. Um, she's wore it without a headband and said it worked the same. Um, no pain at all. Um, taking it on or off and the more she rode with it the more she fell in love with it so that is for women um no neck pain no hair pulling um just gotta get used to it that's the only thing that you need to do is get this helmet ride with it and i guarantee you this will be a life altering piece of equipment that you will not leave home with uh, when you're on your motorcycle. So with that said, thanks for watching. Thank you, Donnie, for the helmet. We'll be talking soon. Um, and oh, before I end this review, this is the product that they make. They have a bunch of different colors um, and fit all different size heads. Um, but they don't have a full face or a modular yet. Um, and I say yet because that will be coming out soon. Um, I believe Donnie said hopefully within the next year or so. Um, that they will have a full face to uh, bring into production for sale. But right now they have the half shells and they went with the half shells because that's what the majority of motorcyclists wear. So they wanted to protect the majority first and then figure out the rest down the road. And um, yeah, so modulars and full faces are coming, but for now, these are the half shells that you can purchase from Kirsch Helmets. Um, definitely give a, a look. Um, their price point is a little high, but you're irreplaceable. So I'm pretty sure your wives, your girlfriends, your boyfriends, your husbands, your mothers, your fathers want you to come back home and have the safest possible gear on you while you ride and Kirsch Helmets is where it's at. So thank you for watching. Give these guys a like and a follow on Facebook and Instagram. Um, go to their website, look at those videos I mentioned before about their demonstrations of why they built the helmets the way they did and the science behind these helmets because it very well may save your life one day. Uh, hopefully you don't need to have it save your life, but it's better to have and not need the need and not have. So with that said, I'll see you guys out there on the road on Pursuit of Happiness and uh, have a good day, guys.